Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. So you're going to notice a few things. First off, I'm kneeling. I, I don't have a chair. A lot of my stuff is still in a U-box. Second, it's kind of echoey because my carpet isn't here. It is also in a U-box. But my computer is set up. I actually got a green screen amazon to me because my green screen... I think you see where this is going. Basically, I am working with the bare minimum, but I am in Texas. The move was an utter success, and you will see stuff on Spike IRL at some point in the future. But, because I'm out of videos to be recorded during my absence, we're gonna have to make one. Fantastic. So, um, this could be challenging. Charlotte's getting used to this, so hopefully she doesn't bark. I'm gonna keep an earphone off so I can hear if she starts barking. Because if she does, I have to go shut her up because I have neighbors now. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out what has- wow. Everything on the front page is new, because obviously I've been gone for a week. Self-cooling alloy. Self- Self-cooling alloy, really? Okay, so it's at 21.79 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and throw thermite on it. <laughs> if it's self-cooling, it'll be able to handle it, right? Hmm. Actually, that is really impressive. The bottom, huh. The amount of damage done, it, it looked like it did a lot of damage, but it, it didn't actually. It did like no damage. Ser seriously? Wait a moment. <laughs> it's time to make a giant bowl. Alright, um, I'm very curious how this works. I may have to steal this for some designs in the future. This would be great for a reactor. Huh. No kidding. <laughs> it's able to stand up against thermite. Um... I guess we'll have to try it with Nihonium. I know, I know, I couldn't respond or fix it because guess what? Guess what? I was in a car for 27 hours, four days of driving. I know four days isn't 27 hours, but we had to stop and eat and drink and sleep and stuff. But yes, I will fix this. I will make you happy. I will do it. Give me a little bit of time. But let's see if it's able to Oh, oh my god! The self-cooling alloy can't quite handle it, but it's holding up way better than I had expected. Look at that! What?! It survived it! It survived it! Oh, Charlotte is not happy. Charlotte has been peanut buttered, so that buys us a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and look at what's actually going on here. This is insane! The- <laughs> It has actually contained the Nihonium, or I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, or the name. We're gonna go with it for now. I have never seen a material that is capable of containing my amazingness. Okay, this isn't my amazingness. My amazingness is way hotter than this. But seriously, I, I'm honestly shocked. It stopped it. If you made a bunker out of this, you could potentially- Okay, so maybe a massive amount of it like that it can't handle. Um, well, let's see the amount of damage, because I have a feeling that the amount of damage done is still going to be lower than I had expected. It didn't even destroy half of it. Oh, maybe it did. It looks like this blob here kind of survived. Um, so, the thing to keep in mind is that this is still a way, way better result than we would have gotten with anything except for diamond. Like. This self-cooling alloy is actually self-cooling. I know, surprising, it actually lives up to its name, but a lot of things in this world don't live up to their name. Like, that is, that is really, really impressive. And the way that it works is kind of when the... When the Nihonium is together, it makes enough heat that it's able to melt through. However, once it gets spread out a bit, the self-cooling alloy is actually able to handle it. And then it actually kind of stabilizes it. Um, it gets it stuck and contained. This, this is crazy. I, I didn't think that anyone would be able to figure out a way to do this. Um, but I kind of want to just make an entire map out of the stuff. 
and uh, see how much it can handle because I'm I am shocked, pleasantly surprised. Ooh, that messes with the eyeballs looking at that. Wow, I'm going to get a migraine. That's okay, it's worth it for you guys and your entertainment. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put some of this in and see exactly what happens. When we put a medium amount in, I'm curious if it'll make it all the way through. It's pushing. It is trying to make it through. It's made it about halfway. Ooh, it's slowing down. This is insane. This is insane. I cannot believe this. It actually is able to contain it. Wow. Holy moly. I need to comment. Oh. Oh, I need. Jeez. Oh, I'm just going to say this is this is fantastic, okay? This is really beating my expectations. It's actually containing it to the point where it's converting to neutrons and actually going away. It can handle it. There are definitely applications for this material now. Um, now you may be saying, Spike, any metal would be able to block it. No. I mean, I will, I will go ahead and just demonstrate very quickly how wrong you are. You've certainly not seen the other videos if you're thinking that. But uh, let's go ahead and get a big old block of titanium and do the same test. I'll even do less Nihonium. I'll do less. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you will notice that it's not slowing down. It's speeding up. Shoot. Hmm. All right, I was expecting a little bit of a different result there. Maybe it just does burn through itself too quickly. Maybe it's more the timing. I mean, I'm gonna have to do a test on a smaller scale because clearly my large scale test was uh, wrong. I was wrong. Although I think when we actually use about the same amount, it does actually, it does actually make it all the way through pretty much. But um, nope, nope, I was wrong. I thought that it would be able to easily smash through this titanium, and although it is, so here's the thing: this isn't self-cooling, so it's staying hotter a lot longer, and it's actually just remaining molten death. Um, but it didn't go through, so ah. Uh, I guess, I guess the best way to test this then would be to uh, do the real scientific method here and we will go ahead and um, do this. This is a pixel off. Not on that side, but probably on that side. All right, so now that we did it, jeez, I feel dumb. I hate it when I do a demonstration and then I'm actually wrong. Worst feeling in the world. <laughs> and he may be saying, Spike, why don't you do redo the video? But I don't redo the video because, you know, messing up is a part of science, you know? My knees are also getting really painful from just kneeling all this time, so we may cut this video a little bit short. <laughs> Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put an equal amount of Ununtrium on each of these in a similar fashion. Alright. Boom. Boom. And I'm actually going to delete the bottom so that it can pass through. And let's see what happens. Here is our super scientific test. Three. Two. One, go. Interesting. Interesting. What is the result going to be? Oh. Well, that was somewhat unexpected. Uh, we, lo we lost the entire titanium block. And um, it looks like we lost most of the other block. Eh. 
That was that was not a good result. Uh, let's go ahead and redo that with less. Okay, one moment. Dog check. You can still be on me, so everything's fine. Everything's fine. Fine, if you're being good, it's fine. So if you're being bad, it's bad. Oh, <sighs> okay. Editing this video will be fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and get equal amounts of, of, of Nihonium. Gotta keep saying the right name. But a smaller amount this time. So that it's, you know, <laughs> a little bit less catastrophic because we want an actual visible difference. If they both completely die, we don't get that visible difference. And, uh, testing time, testing time. Okay, so we can definitely see that the titanium went a bit further there with the heat. Like, there was definitely, it looks like there was more damage. Um, but look at the heat difference. Like, the bottom of this is at 200, the bottom of this is at 400 going up, this one is going down. So it's definitely better able to handle that heat. And because it's not allowing it to heat up to its max, it's actually not going away. It's actually preserving it, which is another interesting side effect because when it hits its maximum heat, it dies. It's more likely to turn into a neutron as well. Oh, actually, if we added um, pressure, this would, be, this would be catastrophic. Catastrophic, indeed. Okay, um... Let's do a little bit, oh shoot, we have to leave it paused for this. <laughs> uh, control Y, <gasps> no, control Z, okay, control Y, nope, I guess we're just gonna have to go, go with this start and we'll just add a little bit more for meme potential. A little bit more, a little bit more, just to make the test a little bit more clear. So it just appeared, it, you know, it's it's actually kind of it's hard to tell. It definitely went further, but once again, the heat difference. This is at 500 rising, and this is at 500, but it's starting to fall now. This is still going up, still going up, falling rather rapidly. So the, the the cooling alloy. I wonder if there's a way to mix these. If you would like layers of pure titanium and then the self-cooling alloy, if there's a way that you could make a, a better defense against the Nihonium slash Unintrium. Who knows? I'll leave that to you. There's your homework. Make, make an alloy that can handle it. But that means that I'm going to have to actually give you access to it, which next video I will get you a GitHub download link. Maybe not a, yeah, yeah, I'll get you a GitHub thing. The only thing is it requires me to maintain it, and that's effort, but I'll do it because I love you, all of you, my best friends, parasocial relationships for the win. All right, I'm, it's rather interesting. Like this, this is a, this is an interesting, interesting uh, materials. Self-cooling, I have no clue how it works. Um, it looks like after you hit it the first time, it becomes far less resilient because it breaks that kind of grid pattern it has, which I think is how it's cooling in the first place. And then it's kind of dead. The titanium is just titanium, so it can't really get mixed up or there's no lattice to be broken, you know. But at the end of the day, a good experiment. See, that was that was kind of scientific. I mean, we didn't really have a control, but this wasn't really the kind of experiment where you would have the... Actually, I guess the titanium is the control. Yeah, the titanium is the control. What am I talking about? See, I actually passed Chem 1 and 2 in college, so I should be better. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time when we take the sun and eat it. Because we are not hot enough down here in Texas, we just need more heat, more heat. It's really hot down here. Well, we made it. We're in Texas. If you can hear that in the background, that's my AC. Kind of necessary down here. You know what else is necessary? Liking, subscribing, and commenting. Maybe even supporting them. Oh god, I just fell over. Not having a chair is rough.
But you know what else is rough? Not supporting the channel. <laughs> I can I can turn anything into shameless self-advertisement, trust me. Bye.